Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video, and as you can see in the little preview window, we're once again back with Dimitri's uh, direct landing script. So this will be the eighth attempt. We've had two successes, but I want to find out if those were just purely flukes, which I think is not all that unlikely, or if the calculation system I'm doing has some merit. Um, I do think it has some merit, but I think that um, I think that the fact that the the range was so close together um, means that our calculation worked because the task failed successfully. If you know what I mean, I don't think it. I don't think it's necessarily because we have everything ironed out yet. So that's what we're going to do over the next few attempts, um, and hopefully we'll come up with a scenario where the range is wider, so that we can find out, you know, um, you know what how, what values work and what values don't work. So with all that said, let's switch camera views here and get back into things. All right, so let's go ahead and view our flight record. So we've had seven attempts, two successes, and we've so far our best success would was with 325 seconds to spare, uh, four crashes and one suffocation. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and skip the intro because we've seen it a few times. And big bang right away. And kill right uh ki well kill rather meant to do and open those and again not that one attempt i had i forgot to kill rotate and it turned out because of that because i forgot to kill rotate it took a really long time for um, interplanetary to get settled so we want to make sure we make that as part of our procedure kill ro kill rotate all right, let's go to the base approach, and I want to target Brighton Beach right away before I forget. So we have that information in there. And let's go to here so we have more information. And I have finally taken the time to get the altitude at Brighton Beach. Turns out it's uh, negative 2566. And one thing I've also done, let me hit pause here so I'm not eating up my time. In my uh, spreadsheet that I've been using, I, I just added a bit of reference information up here because I'm always pressing Control i to get the long range and the landing pad one, so I just put that in here so I have it easily available. And then the altitude is negative 2566. Um, th that, could, that could play a factor because, you know, if we're, if we're uh, setting our burns up with the idea that, you know, we're going to be zero altitude, and it turns out that we're actually, you know, 2,566 meters below sea level. You know, it could have an impact on, you know, when we begin our burn. Um, but we'll address that later. So for now, let's go ahead and switch back over to our main view here. And let's unpause and continue on. So anticipation angle. So the last time we did negative 0.35, I still feel like that's a bit long. So let's go negative 0.3 this time. Pause and put that number in before we forget. So we're trying negative 0.3 this time. And let's unpause. So we have, so we're, we're probably start around 56 minutes. So 3000 seconds would be 50 minutes. That'd leave us five minutes to land. Might be pushing it a bit. Previous flight we did 2800, so what we're going to do, we're going to unpause and to determine our number, we're going to use uh, we're going to use the DV to help us figure that out. So let's start with, let's say 2700, so that's 403, so 2800 saves us 100 delta V, 2900 saves us about 75 dV. Let's go with that. Let's not push it any further than 2,900 because that because we don't you know that'll leave us about six and a half minutes. So let's get that burn underway. Hopefully we didn't make any mistakes here. We have Brighton Beach targeted. Altitude is set. Anticipation angle set. All right. So while that's getting settled, let's put in our data. So we did a 2,900 on this one and. So our burn is underway. Let's go ahead and bring up map on that side, target Brighton Beach. And again, you know, this is the eighth attempt, so I am trying to work fairly quickly here. Uh, pretty early on, you know, we've figured out that as soon as the scenario gets going, you want to get you want to get started. You don't want to sit here and think for too long because 
Um, you know, the longer you spend messing around at the beginning, the more time you're eating up. Now that we've done the big burn, you know, I feel like we have plenty of time to sit and think, but getting that big burn done is pretty important. Translation. Okay, so we can see our lines not quite over Brighton Beach. I don't think it really matters that much, but I have been finding usually after I do this burn, if I press two on the numeric keypad, in I think every case so far, it has lined up that line a little bit better. I suppose it's possible from one scenario to the next that you might need to bump your translation the rest are a different way. But yeah, so in this case, in fact, so pressing two this time is not working, so I'm gonna go the other way. Eight, eight, and I think that's the first time I've seen it where I had to go uh, eight instead of two. But but that just further proves that you know not all scenarios are the same. Okay, so we've opened the retro doors. We've switched over to vertical speed. I'm gonna go ahead and set my vertical vertical speed hold, you know, at a, at a low number, but not super low. That way, once we're, you know, assuming we make it, and we don't crash into the ground. Uh, once we start leveling out, if vertical speed becomes a quick becomes an issue, we can quickly hold, but we'll still be, you know, falling a little bit. All right, so let's set up our communications. And again, we have our spreadsheet. I, I can see it again. It's just right, you know, my upper left monitor. So referencing that information, we're going to go 11630 on the long range, which we probably don't need actually, because usually for the long range, usually what I need is the landing pad. For the long range, I usually just end up using GPS VTOL. All right, so for the landing pad too, we want 132. 20 and speaking of gps vtol we'll go ahead and bring that up go to our memory and we'll get and that way we have this information because we only get information from brighton beach once we're pretty close in all right so next order of business a sip of water we have to stay hydrated okay now that we've had our drink of water I think we can go ahead and go into the retrograde position, bring up our camera, and we want tail back. So there's our tail back camera. And we will bring up burn time calculator on this side to have that ready, making sure it's on main engines. It should always be because the scenario you know, doesn't have anything saved for burn time calculator, so it should always be main, but it's a good idea to check just to be sure. A little bit of time warp to settle the vessel into the retrograde. Come out of time warp, turn that off, kill rotate, maybe kill rotate one more time. All right, so what we've been doing is we've been warping time forward to get down to 300, no, 400 kilometers, and then we put in our our vertical speed at 400 kilometers into burn time calculator to give us our low end of the range and then we put in our uh, our ground speed into burn time calculator to give us our high end of the range now looking at these at the moment they're almost the same so we might have this scenario again where our range is um, really close together we'll see how it goes and you know even if it is close together hey it's still another test of our of our system here. Okay, so all the autopilots are off. Let's go ahead and warp time forward, get down to about uh, about 500 kilometers or so, then we'll go down to 10. I mean, I feel like I need to go to 10 now. And now down to one. Okay, so we're under 10 minutes and we're getting Get, re get ready to go down to 0 0.1 now. All right, now we're going to put in our DB for our vertical, which is 2541. And now we're going to pause. So that's going to be 125,036 meters. So let's go ahead and put that into our vertical speed. So our vertical speed at, you know, about 400 kilometers um, is 2541, and that gives us a distance using the full power of the main engines of 125,036 meters. Okay, let's now 
unpause and find out what our vertical speed will be. Uh, vertical dis uh, our ground speed is 3218. Give that a second and pause. So that's really close to 200 kilometers. Um, let's go ahead and switch views here and put in that number. This will be the biggest range we've had, it looks like. So 199707. All right, so we should be able to copy these down. I think I've got all the formulas worked out, but let me go ahead and double check that. So yeah, so this is the biggest range, but it's not a huge difference between this one and this one. And uh, by the way, in the last, uh, the last attempt, um, I put a note in the video uh, comment section and I pinned it, but when I was setting up my formulas, I had it wrong and I ended up doing the burn 24 kilometers before I should have. So I don't know if that, I have to, I'll have to go back and watch that video. I don't know if that helped me or if it hurt me. It was a success either way, but you know, bearing that in mind, um, anyway, so if we were to do the burn using 70% of that number added to that number, we would start to burn at 177 kilometers. And then as we go down in this direction, we're saying we want to be closer and closer to the ground. We've been doing 60% and it's been working. Um, although again, on the last flight, we actually did, uh, you know, more than a hundred percent because, because, because of my mistake in the spreadsheet. In fact, here it is. And I should have noticed this because you can see my range was 141 kilometers to 160 kilometers. And we started the burn at 176 kilometers. I should have realized when I saw that, that it wasn't within the range, but I didn't notice it again. It was still a success, bit of dumb luck there, but maybe that tells us, you know, that we have more of a range to work with than we think. But anyway, looking at what we have here, you know, we have a range of 75 kilometers, just under 75 kilometers. And so on the very low end, we would begin the burn at 125 kilometers, but I'm pretty sure that would almost certainly mean we would smash into the ground. And if we did 40% of our range plus our distance here, we begin the burn at about 155 kilometers, 50%, uh, which is right in the middle would be about 162 kilometers. 60%, which is what we've been doing, would be 170 kilometers, basically. I think we'll go ahead and stick with the 60% and see how that works out. I do think what we might do is as I'm coming down, I'm going to watch my, um, I'm going to watch my altitude. And if my, and if I get to like 500 meters a second, and my altitude's really high, I might stop the main engines for a moment. That way we can go in a bit more. Um, we can go down a bit lower. All right, so with all that said, so we're going to make our target, let's call it just 170 kilometers, because that's just within a couple, you know, 100 and some meters. So 170 kilometers is going to be our target altitude for burn. So let's switch camera views here. And let's unpause. Let's go back to real time. Let's get into the retrograde position. Take a sip of water. So again, 170 kilometers is going to be our burn distance this time. Maybe, let, me, let me set this to 10, be, make me feel a little more comfortable. And we don't need this anymore. So let's go ahead and have that. Let's go ahead and have this side on GPS BTOL that way. Once we, you know, assuming we don't smash into the ground, once we level out, we can start getting pointed into the right direction. Okay, so 170 kilometers is going to be our begin burn. Retrogrades on. We do have the retro doors open. We do have the landing gear up. So we need to keep all that in mind. 170 kilometers is going to be our burn distance. And we're going to go by this altitude, 170 kilometers. So we're going to begin that burn pretty soon. Go ahead and speed time up just a little bit. And okay, getting ready to do the burn in just a couple seconds here and burning. Okay, so we begin, we've begun our braking burn. So again, I'm going to go ahead and warp time forward. Let me get down to a thousand meters a second. Okay, so we're 40 kilometers up. So this is what I'm saying. What we may want to do, because I feel like we may have started the burn too soon. 
So what we may want to do is when we get to like 500 meters, let's evaluate where we are at on our altitude and we may want to kill our burn for a moment. So 500 meters per second. Let's see where we're at on the altitude. Let's go down a little bit more. Okay, so I think I'm gonna make a judgment call. I'm gonna say we can kill our burn, get down a little bit lower. And I feel a little bit panicked, so I'm gonna begin the burn again. Okay, I think we have that under control, so I'm gonna wait a moment. We have five minutes, almost six minutes left for 10 kilometers. Go ahead and begin the burn. Get rid of some more of this velocity. Okay, I think we're pretty close now, so we can go ahead and kill that. And let's go ahead now and do our burn, get rid of most of the rest of the velocity, kill the burn, go level on the autopilot, switch over to the uh, front camera for now and make sure we are in uh, okay so we're all right let's make sure we're in rotation and when the front of the vessel is facing the base we will kill rotate and i'm going to start applying a bit of hover translation uh, rotation. i want to rotate around so i'm facing the base so we're four kilometers out so let's put in some forward velocity to move towards the base Let's go ahead and now and switch to uh, ComNav. We have to annoyingly go off frequency, on frequency to get that to come up. Go to VOR, VTOL, switch our navigation, put down the landing gear, switch to the down cam. Okay, we can see the base. Okay, a little bit more forward velocity. Let's get rid of that hover. We have 493. I feel like we have the velocity. I feel like we have the delta V. Translation. And translate a bit this way. So I feel like we have enough forward velocity to get over top of the landing pad. We don't have to add any more. I feel like we're high up enough that we don't need to engage. Time is a bit critical here. We don't have a ton of time left. Rotation. I'm super nervous. Okay, translation. I'm going to go ahead and use some down translation to offset the vertical speed by just a touch. It's not going to help much, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and put in just a little bit of hover to slow down the descent. I feel like we have enough delta V based on the previous two successes. I'm going to go ahead and take out that hover now. I'm still continuing to use uh, down hover just to burn up some of that uh, RCS that we have and to help slow ourselves down just a little bit. I feel like we may run out of time this time. So hopefully, hopefully we don't. Three minutes left. We still have a couple kilometers to go down. Uh, once we get closer to the center of the pad, I'm going to use the retro engines. Uh, I feel like I need to slow down my descent a little bit. Okay, take out that hover. So really close to the middle of the pad. Landing gear. Rotation translation. Start slowing down a little bit. I have to hold because I'm super nervous. Rotate translation. Five hundred. Okay, I feel like we can descend a bit faster. We still have two minutes left. I think we have the delta V. I think we have the pad alignment. 200. Less than two minutes left. 
Okay, gear's down. Okay, we have a minute and 45 left. We should be okay. I think we got it. Slow things down just a little bit more. 50 meters. Okay, I'm going to start taking out. Slow down. Ten. Okay, let's turn this off. Okay, we're down. Turn that off. Brakes. All right. We did it. I, I, I felt like my heart was really pounding there. I'll have to watch the playback to see how it was doing. But yeah, I was like actually shaking there a little bit. Um, all right, so another success under our belt. Um, so we're over 20 minutes, but let's go ahead and quickly switch camera views here. So once again, we did the 60% method, uh, but we did a bit of a um, a bit of a variant of the 50 per, of the 60% method, and then we killed the we killed the engines partway through. So I think we may want to do somewhere between 60 and 50, like maybe even 50% next time or maybe add another column and do 55%. But I do feel like this has merit, but once again, our range here wasn't that large. Um, I think when we get into a range of 200 kilometers or you know, like 100 to 200 kilometers, I think that's where we're going to see that this, that this isn't going to work. I just, I feel like, um, yeah. Yeah, and I, and I, think, I think we may wanna explore 50% because I feel like on each of these burns, or I feel like on each of these attempts, I'm doing this just a bit too soon. Uh, certainly on that one, because again, I did kill the engines partway through the braking burn. So I think that would have been more like 50%. At any rate, uh, we had another success. So please do smash that like button down below, indicating that you appreciated uh, seeing my success. And yeah, we're not done with this. We're going to try again. Um, and again, I'm kind of hoping to get a range of 100 to 200 kilometers on the next one because I feel like I feel like we're going to find out that this 60% only works when the range is close in. But we'll see uh, on the next attempt. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.